Hey, what's up everybody? It's Game Fanatic Cook, and as you guys have seen in the title, I'll be discussing what I think the best Monster Hunter game of all time is. And now, you guys are thinking, I clicked on this video, this guy's going to drop cold hard facts, he's going to make a great video, a video essay even, about how legendary a certain Monster Hunter game is, and why it stands out above the rest. Well, that is com not true. I am lazy. I'm not putting that much effort into it, and I'm doing this completely based on my own opinion and nostalgia. Number one, nostalgia and opinions. Okay, so to answer the question right away and make it very clear, I am a Monster Hunter 3 diehard. I love Monster Hunter 3, I will die by Monster Hunter 3, and I will murder by Monster Hunter 3. Everybody out here there and listen to that, death is no consequence if you're insulting Monster Hunter 3. Now, I'm going to talk about why I like Monster Hunter 3 more than pretty much any other Monster Hunter game. And you might be like, well, surely you played every Monster Hunter game if you're making that claim. No, actually. I had not played Monster Hunter 1, the original, or Monster Hunter Dose. I have not played either of those, but I have played 3 pretty much onward. So, uh, you know, I have, I know what I'm talking about. I have the enough experience, definitely, to talk about this. And I'm not biased at all. Anyway. So, I began playing Monster Hunter 3 when I was around, you know, 12, 13 years old. I was very, very young, and I actually started playing because my uncle uh, recommended the game to me. And, you know, I played with it. My first experience online was playing with him, actually, and I loved it. I, it was an instant hit in my, in my mind. I played Monster Hunter 3 literally like 200 hours in like, I think like four months, bro. Probably less time than that, honestly. But I was addicted to it. I was a child. I was, you know, in like elementary school. No, I was in middle school. Elementary, I, I actually think I may have started playing in elementary school and kept playing through middle school until eventually high school. I would play the game nonstop. I would wake up at like 5 a.m. before school, play Monster Hunter, complete two quests, go into school, come home, play Monster Hunter, do homework, play Monster Hunter. And keep in mind, guys, I was like a fat ass kid guys <laughs> i was fat so i we guys might be thinking like dude did you do ever do anything besides play monster hunter if you're putting that much hours in with school with homework no i all i do is play monster hunter eat sleep and get fat i was like ridiculous anyway play monster hunter non-stop monster hunter 3 just had some a certain amount of charm i think that no monster hunter has really captured since i love monster hunter world i think it's a great game monster hunter world's legendary monster hunter 4, 4 was awesome. Monster Hunter uh, Rise, I think it's a really fun game. Why a little more shallow than the rest. But Monster Hunter 3 it just had like an old charm to it. You come into Moga Village. Moga Village is the best hub spot, I think, in any Monster Hunter game ever. Moga Village is wonderful. It seems so active. People are moving around. People are fishing. People are talking. Like It feels like a real little tiny village. And it makes sense. You're connected to Deserted Island, by the way. Deserted Island, by the way, best map in Monster Hunter history. In Monster Hunter 3, Deserted Island, perfect, best Monster Hunter map. Plus, being connected to the village makes this, the story make sense. Everything makes sense with them being connected. Oh my god, I'm getting... I'm about to climax thinking about it, guys. Anyway, so Moga Village, best city. Then the city, Wyvern City, whatever the fuck it was called. I don't remember. I was 13. Like, we got broke. But anyway, the city... Also, equally awesome. It was a great place to meet up with friends. It felt like a whole different environment than Moga Village, but it still felt, felt like active and real, and you were seeing other people there, and it felt real and legit, you know? Something that I feel like kind of world and rides. Like, those, the hubs, they just feel kind of lame. I'll be honest with you. I don't like I don't like World's Hub that much, and I really, really don't like Rise's Hub. I think Rise's Hub is complete trash. I think World's Hub is decent, just not that, not anything special. Anyway... So, Monster Hunter 3 has a great hub, great place just to chill out. The maps, Flooded Forest, Deserted Island, that volcano place, that ice place. Oh my god. Map after map. Every single map was freaking heat. They were awesome. Every single one was awesome. Not to mention, there was only three reintroduced, reintrodu oh, no, two reintroduced monsters in, uh, Monster Hunter 3, the Wraithlos and the Diablos, and they had 17 unique new monsters come into the fray. That's a huge amount of new monsters, it's like a whole new game, a whole new experience from DOS in 1, which I haven't played, so it didn't matter anyway, but shut up. Anyway, and that was just so sick. 
and you had monsters like the Giganox, iconic, never made a return in this series for whatever reason. Giganox was terrifying, awesome, sexy monster. The freaking Gobel, it was terrifying. It, I think it was kind of janky, but it was still an awesome monster. I mean, the Lagiacris, one of the most iconic monsters in the Monster Hunter series. It's only been in two freaking games, and the only game it had a huge part in was Monster Hunter 3. And I think when you think Monster Hunter, you think Wraithlos, you think Lagiacris, let's be honest. Because that opening cutscene where they fight each other was one of the most iconic scenes in Monster Hunter. And it came from Monster Hunter 3. And there was underwater combat, which has never been reintroduced in the series. And why it was, of course, janky. It was iconic and awesome to fight the Royal Blue Drop, the Global, the Lagiacris, the Cetus. Oh my gosh. It was wonderful. It was legit wonderful. And combined with how beautiful the landscape work. Obviously, it doesn't look as good graphically as, you know... Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise. But even without having the graphics, it still felt so legit and so pretty and so nice. And then the Expedition Mode. Oh my gosh, I loved Expedition Mode. Monster Hunter 3. I liked how everything you did gave you points. You gather mushrooms, points. You kill a small monster, points. Kill a big monster, more points. I loved it, and I think that they never bring that back. The killing small monsters, giving you points. I want small monsters to give you ex Expedition points, goddammit. I want it. I don't know why they got rid of it. I would kill like 50 Jaggies in a row and get like 150 points because I was too scared to kill the fucking Lagiacris that was running around shooting lasers at me. And it was just so amazing. Just And then the story made sense. And it was one of the few times that a monster in a story I felt like was really special. Like you're this hunter in this small village and... You're trying to kill Lagiacris because you think that's causing the earthquakes, right? So there's a reason there's a build-up to why you're doing this. And almost every urgent quest, every major quest, it did something to help benefit the village. It all felt real. Like in Rise, it has like a goofy ass name. Like the main monster, like, we're using evil rage mode to make everyone extra mean. That's stupid. That's, that's really dumb. I hate that. But in Monster Hunter 3... You know, it's just, you kill a lot of yachters just because it's, it's just calling it a natural natural issue. It's just, you know, that's what you think it is, but really it's a Cetus, obviously. But, still, it's just like a natural escalation of things, and you're helping the village the whole time. While with the rise, it's like, evil monster, bloodthirsty! It's so stupid, I don't like it. I, I, I still want to say I really like Rise as a game, I just don't like the story at all. But, anyway, and then World, I think World story is alright. I think it's a... Eh, it did win like RPG of the year low key, so maybe I need to give it some credit. I liked World a lot, I really did, but its story was kind of just like too pure and too like not gritty enough for me. I don't know, it felt like I don't know, like too childish almost for a game like Monster Hunter. But anyway, so I think Monster Hunter 3 has the best story, best reason to continue like your quest to save the village. I think that has the best maps, and I think that's inarguable that it has the best maps. I think by far has the best maps. Oh my gosh, I forgot Sandy Freaking Plains. Another great map. God damn. The monsters were all unique. They were the best monsters. A lot of the best monsters in the game came from Monster Hunter 3. Let's not get that twisted. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just an iconic game, and I think it's wonderful. I think it's amazing, and I cry thinking about it at night, and I have dreams about it and I climax in them okay just saying it's a good game it's a really good game guys also my profile picture on YouTube is a great Jaggy and <laughs> guess where the great Jaggy was introduced Monster Hunter 3 so you know if you're using environmental storytelling to guess what this video is going to be about before you clicked on it about being the best Monster Hunter game you would have guessed Monster Hunter 3 anyway uh yeah I haven't talked about the city yet oh my gosh I've been talking about the single player this whole time. I forgot to talk about the multiplayer. And about how I would play with random Japanese men online. And, uh, you know, just kill stuff, dude. There's a lot of naked people that would insta-kill monsters. You know, there's a lot of cheaters. Let's not, let's, not, let's not beat around the bush. The online was not perfect. But that was more, uh, from what I know, the Wii's fault than the actual game's fault. Because the Wii apparently was just easy to get into and mess around with the systems and hacking the games and stuff like that. So, we'll blame the Wii for that, not really Monster Hunter itself. But the online was so fun. I'd play with Japanese dudes I'd understand. We'd just emote and arm wrestle and all that cool stuff. 
and be successful. We killed Jim Ron or whatever, the, however the hell you say it. That oh my gosh, the Jim Ron fight. That was one of the best fights in Monster Hunter history. Just like the th- the th- the theme of it, the thematics is amazing. The music, the environment, the desert of like or like sea of sand. How you're in a boat. Oh my gosh, it's just iconic. It's iconic, guys. It's iconic. It really is. Anyway. Clearly, you got, oh my gosh, and the Double Joe was introduced to Monster Hunter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I literally started this video like, I think Monster Hunter 3 is the best game. And as I keep talking and remembering more things, I'm like, it's by far the best Monster Hunter game. It's, this is iconic and legendary. And I feel like most people would probably have, you know, the same uh, feeling towards their first Monster Hunter game. Now, if your first game was DOS, probably like DOS is the best. If your first game was like uh, World, you think World's the best. But no, I think 3 is the best. I think that even if you took away my nostalgia, I'd probably give the slight edge to 3 over World of all the games I've played. But that is just my opinion. And this has been a game theory. I don't think I did the joke right, guys. <laughs> I think I, I think I fucked it up. Anyway, um, yeah, it's <laughs> that's it. That's We're done. It's been Cook the Kid. No, that's not even my name. I did this last video too. My name is Game Fanatic Cook now. <laughs> I've been Fanatic Cook, guys. And I'll see you in the multiverse. If you subscribe and like and eat potatoes. Oh my. Guys, I literally ended the video, the recording of the video, and forgot that Cha Cha exists and Cha Cha is really an icon living. Oh my god, I. I just need to bring that in. Cha Cha's in Monster Hunter 3, and that's that's it. Shut down, shut the door, shut everything down. By far the best game. Mo Monster Hunter, Cha Cha. <laughs>